Okay, you may have thought I forgot, but I do not forget. Today is, uh, what today is this today? Today's February the 2nd, 3rd. It's this 3rd. This is the 2nd month. Um, the reason why I've been posting a lot of, um, anime collection stuff is because I knew for a fact this month and probably next month, which is this month, it's gonna be really, really, really low on the amount of stuff I get. Uh, for example, I just had to pay out, well, I didn't have to, but I just paid out, um, 450 for something that I'll get hopefully in March. Um, if you guys know and have been watching some of my videos, you may know what it is. And it's something I wanted months ago, so I'm, I finally pre ordered it. Uh, you guys probably already know what it is, but uh, yeah, that's why this month and uh, January is not that great in stuff. But there's a few things here. Um, nothing super notable, but some cool things I personally think. Uh, we're going to start with the games because there's only two games here uh, and they're both for the same console so it's going to be easy to talk about. Let's put my Pitacarus uh, stand up for my 3DS. And the first game is a game I got um, a couple weeks ago and it was probably one of the only games I wanted for this console and that was uh, Uncharted Golden Abyss. I've been wanting this game ever since I heard about it. Uh, well, ever since I got into the Uncharted games. Because I had a Uncharted 1 for like a year, and literally the week I got it, I borrowed it to someone I used to work with. Uh, well, at the time I worked with them. And I didn't get the game back for like two months. And then I finally got it back, and I put it to the shelf, never played it. Then I found the second game and third game, I picked those up, and then I sat down and played like all of them. And uh, Uncharted 2 and 3 is probably some of the best PS3 games. Ever. Uncharted is probably the, one of the best um, Sony licensed games ever. Uh, Naughty Dog, if you don't know, they made Last of Us, which is probably, in a lot of people's opinions, the best game on the PS3. So, they made Uncharted. Uncharted 1 is good, but it's very odd. It, you can tell it was like a first generation PS3 game, if that makes any sense. Because certain things, mostly the very beginning thing you do in the game, you're on a boat. Everything is super shiny. If you don't remember, um, back when the uh, consoles, I guess, last generation came out, it's really weird to say that, but last generation came out, um, first generation games were really, uh, um, first generation games of last generation, it's really weird to say, were really shiny. Um, so the first game was really weird, but finally we get to this game, which is technically the fourth game in the series. Uh, I think it takes place between number two and number three, and this game could be on consoles. I think they honestly could port this to the PS3, take out some of the whole touch features that are on the Vita, and this game could sit right beside every other um, Uncharted game, and it would be kind of great. But they never did, which I guess is really good for people who own a Vita, because that's one issue with the Vita, I've noticed that some of the big games have been ported to other things, which is kind of pointless. It's like, oh, okay, I just spent, you know, this much money on a handheld when I could get it on the big screen TV for, like, half the price. Yay, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. <coughs> Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. Now, you're probably wondering why it looks like this. Uh, do I have the slip still? It came with a slip also. Basically, I got this used. Um, it was from the bundle version, I believe the guy told me. So that's why it looks like this. Uh, so Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. Probably uh, the worst game I have played on the Vita so far. Um, on the Vita, I own, as you see, Uncharted, Assassin's Creed, Hot Shots Golf, um, and Call of Duty Declassified. I think it's the four games I own. There's a few coming in the mail, which you'll see hopefully uh, this month's update whenever that's done. But um, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation is kind of awful. Uh, it makes, there's zero sense to the story, literally. Uh, I'm not even summing this up. Little girl, you uh, get lost from your mother, you're trying to find your mother. You, uh, you fall down on your face, you skip and fall, and then when you get back up, you're an adult and you're already in the assassin's thing and killing people. Like, literally no character development. You're like, I'm an assassin! The finally, oh, only female freaking assassin in the game main franchise. They make her 
no story development, a complete idiot. Uh, her story itself, like she is an idiot. She does things because people tell her to kind of thing. They try to make a twist at the end, which um, does, it, it, you could see it coming from a mile away, because if you don't know, uh, the main franchise, you play as a character named Desmond, and you go into the Enibus, I think it's what it's called, it's been a while since I've played Assassin's Creed, and you basically, um, you play as your ancestors, which were assassins. In this game, uh, because you're not playing, you're playing as a girl, you can't be playing as Desmond. Uh, well, I guess technically you could, but you, the, the, no, that's just not what they did. Um, to explain it, they they kind of say that it's you're playing a prototype console. It's like a console game of uh, the uh, what's the corporation, the evil corporation in the Assassin's Creed series. Uh, they made their own machine that's portable that you can that you can buy from them, and you can play one of your own um, ancestors. Blah 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 blah. And if you know about the bad guys and why they're the bad guys, you can probably kind of maybe guess how it's gonna end, um, maybe. But people, she, the main character's French, but she talks like she's deaf. Uh, there's literally no story. They try to pull a story about slaves and uh, like liberation and you know freedom and that kind of thing, and it just comes off forced. Like this game was rushed in like a month. Um, the only thing connecting it to Assassin's Creed 3 is there's a mission that you meet up with uh, your brother um, Carter, or Car not Carter, Connor from uh, Assassin's Creed 3, the native guy. And um, it's like a 10 minute mission, not even, and then you part ways, and that's the only mission that connects this entire game to Assassin's Creed 3. So, if you were really hyped for this game, stay away. It's it's kind of garbage. Now, I have not played the multiplayer. There is multiplayer. But from from what I understand, it's not like multiplayer from the other games. It's like you see a world map and you click on things and other people are clicking on things. I, I don't know. But just played the single player and it was garbage. Oh, and about Assassin, uh, the Assassin's Creed. Uh, the better game, Uncharted Golden Abyss. There is no multiplayer. If they had the multiplayer in this, this would be perfect. A perfect game. Uh, but there's no multiplayer, which I don't really care because I play games for the single player, like how people should. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so next we're going to do the um, anime. And there's only three things here, and there's only one manga. As I said, very small update, and I apologize, but I'm not made of money, uh, kind of. Uh, so yes. So probably the big thing this month that I had to buy uh, was... Stay, this might fall. One Piece Season 5, Voyage 5, uh, episodes 313 to 324. Um, yeah, this box set is it, does it conclude or does it begin the conclusion? I believe it begins the conclusion. Yes, um, this is the box set that right after the Ennies Lobby fight, uh, the CP. Nine uh, fight. This concludes right like this. This takes place right after that fight, and it's basically showing. Okay, you know, if you don't know, here's a bit of spoilers. If you haven't seen One Piece up to this point, but the Mary, the Going Mary, the ship that they've been using for years, uh, has gotten old and it breaks down, and they do their goodbyes to the ship. And this box set basically reveals the new ship Sunny, which is plainly on the cover here. And it also concludes, uh, well it also has Frankie joining the ship, uh, joining the crewmates, and now Frankie is an official member. In the other box sets he was just helping them, but he wasn't an official member. This one, he's actually a part of the Straw Hats, and they are escaping the island because when they're trying to escape the island, they're being attacked by, uh, well, actually we find out that one of the main generals, uh, the guy who wears the dog ears, who's training Luffy's friend, the uh, the, the pink-haired kid, um, is Luffy's grandfather. And Luffy's grandfather, who is one of the main huge navy guys, is trying to stop and kill Luffy because, you know, Luffy kind of took down the entire, probably biggest navy place uh, that was on the Grand Line. So, yeah, kind of 
kind of crazy stuff happens. This box set is really, really good, uh, but they don't really go anywhere. There is a bunch of filler episodes, but they're not, um, they don't feel super filler-ish like uh, some of the other ones do. Um, but this box set was really good, and I enjoyed it. And um, yeah, there's not too much to say, really. Uh, Usopp joins the crew again, because if you don't know, Usopp left the crew for a while, and now he's back. So everyone is back together, and they're going to set off on their adventure. So yes, so I can only assume Voyage uh, 6 is going to be all kind of filler leading up to like the big next arc, which will be Season 6, which hasn't been licensed yet, which is really worrying to me. But, here's some huge news! Uh, if you've been wanting to watch One Piece, and you've been wanting to watch the collections, and they stopped at Collection 8, and you're like, well shit, I don't want to buy any of this, uh, the uh, Voyage sets. Huge news! They're releasing Voyage 9 uh, in April! Uh, so yeah, that is really, really cool. I'm really glad that One Piece is actually selling enough where they can do re-releases of uh, later episodes. So yeah, uh, if you like One Piece, buy the show. I want more of it to come out. I think everyone else does. And um, yeah, that's really cool. So yes, next, I, I'm going to go through this one real fast because I haven't seen it yet. Um, that is Chrono Crusade. It's a show I've been wanting to actually own and watch for a very long time. Only reason uh, that I've been wanting to watch it is the main uh, nun type girl here looks like XL from XL Saga. Uh, yeah, that is quite literally the only reason I've been wanting to watch this show. And it's made by Gonzo! So you know, either it's gonna be quality or a complete piece of shit. Because Gonzo is always 50-50 in everything they do. So, yeah, I can't really talk about that one because I haven't actually watched any of it. This, I've watched uh, a quarter of the series. It's a 50-something episode series. And um, from what I've seen, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, a lot of people don't might not know it's actually anime, which is really weird, but... Uh... Okay, so it's Speed Racer. <laughs> you don't know. Um, Speed Racer, the complete collection, this is the limited edition uh, tin box thing that they released a long time ago. Um, so yeah, it's all 50, that was loud, I apologize, 52 episodes? Yeah, 52 episodes on five discs. So um, the reason that they could fit all those episodes on only five discs is because there is no dub, or sorry, there is no Japanese dub, I guess you could say. Uh, it's only the English, and I'm pretty sure it's probably edited a bit, I don't know. I haven't seen the original. But um, the only thing I hate about this box set is that it comes in a uh, cardboard sleeve type deal, which I'm afraid is going to scratch the discs up. I hate when things do this, but so far there hasn't been any huge issues with this set yet. Uh, if you don't know, Speed Racer is about uh, a boy named Speed and his dad named Dad, and his mom named Mom, and um, Speed has an older brother named Rex who left the family years ago and his dad tried to stop him from racing, so Mysterious Racer X always helps Speed Racer, and Speed Racer does not know why this man keeps trying to help him in races, and basically every um, couple episodes there is a new kind of race uh, where they have to prevail over something or something happens, like, you know, someone's car gets stolen and I need to help it. It's all car-related race-type things, and it's really old. I think the show was made in 60-something? Um, ooh, I used to know. 66. So it's really old. It's one of the... I, it's, I was going to say something very ambitious there. Uh, it's one of the first anime long running shows that were 20 something minutes in color <laughs> let's make something up like that um, you know it's pretty big it's I think it's a Tatsunoko anime that could be wrong um, yeah there's not much I can say about it it's really if you like really old school anime or if you want to watch an old school anime and you don't know what to watch watch Speed Racer it's laughably entertaining because it's one of those shows where you they try to uh, fill the mouth flaps with just words uh, so let's say there's a sentence like we need to go help this person but in Japanese it's like 
it's just like two syllables like tong tong pa oh that was super racist i apologize that was definitely chinese but you know what i mean they're like we gotta go help them run it out like they'll talk really really fast um, it's the morning. I don't know why I came out really racist there. I apologize. <laughs> I'm tired still. That's why we're drinking Mountain Dew to the side. So, yeah. I apologize. Um, so that's actually all the anime. Next is probably the big thing I got this month, and I haven't even looked at it yet because I've been so out of the loop on everything lately. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad. But... This is actually probably the biggest thing to come out. Uh, was it last month? I think I was late on buying this, actually. I think it came out maybe in... Uh, this may have came out December. Yeah, it came out December. So I was really late on getting this. But it's something that I needed to get because I got the first one. And I think everyone should get this because it's actually cheaper than buying the volume singles. Uh, and that is High School of the Dead. Really, really heavy book. Uh, High School of the Dead Color Omnibus 2. Uh, the first one is red. I have it in another um, another anime update thing. I don't know what episode it was in, but it's there somewhere. Uh, so here's a bit of warning. I'm going to be opening some of this up real fast. Uh, if you can't handle what might be shown, um, please exit the video now. And uh, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, normally the videos are much better quality than this. And... Uh, <laughs> Usually much longer than this too, but, you know, things happen and stuff. Uh, yeah. But, uh, here we go. We're going to open some of this up. I don't know how risky this might get, but, um, yes. Uh, so there shouldn't be actually any nudity here. But, uh, first, they censor the, the these covers. But there's that. And then usually with the other uh, set, there was a, uh, a poster. That's barely censored, but it technically is, so that's fine. If you don't know what High School of the Dead is, it's basically, um, imagine Dawn of the Dead except in a Japanese high school and just anime-fied. So, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, we'll put that to the side. I'm going to take a real quick look in this book. Like, they do character profiles and stuff. Um, that's weird. I'm pretty sure that girl is from another series the guys made. That's... Yeah, it is. There is a, uh... There's a... Cross? What the hell? Why is the whole back of this book... What the... Okay. One second. <laughs> um... Sparks? Huh. Here is, um, well, here's a, here's a warning for some people. I just got this, so I don't know what much to say about it, but, um, I believe, yeah, if you look here, uh, that much of the book is not the actual manga. That is all filler content with, uh, fo uh pictures and making ofs and all that stuff and side uh side crossovers so yeah a lot of it is um actually not from the actual book it's because uh when this was um made the uh, actual manga was on hiatus for a very long time so this i think has the rest of what was made they just colorified it and uh, at the back of the book, if you don't know, it says that it's out of hiatus and more will be coming and we'll be getting it in volume three of the Color Omnibus. So that's a bit of warning if you've been wanting this book. Uh, almost over a quarter of it is actually not manga. Um, let me just take a quick look because I actually haven't even looked at this myself. I don't know how many volumes are actually in here. Looks like... It only looks like two volumes. Three volumes. There's about three volumes. Last one had four. So that tells you how much filler is in this one, but it's still really cool. And it's looks pretty badass. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for watching. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Usually I do this every single month, but uh, 
Yeah, I'll be doing my manga updates. That'll show all of my manga. That'll be a two-part episode, probably about 30 minutes long each. And yeah, that'll probably be most of the content this month, unless I do some reviews or something. So, yeah. Da -da -da.